So an alternative for this rollover with the extremity pin, a, another lifting point would be this area right here where the door kind of meets the B post in a rollover. The reason why we want to show you this alternative is, is that if this vehicle was roll, rolling over in a, in a real heavy roll and there was a lot of crush in the front of the vehicle and our ready-made lift point didn't exist, right, because the vehicle's crushed down flat, we've got another spot here where we could come in and perform the lift, all right? Uh, as we said earlier, counter cribbing on the other side is going to be important. We'll take a walk over there and we'll see the guys have already got it set up, stabilized under the A, B, and C post with the cribbing. All right, so we're opposite the lift. The guys have already got the cribbing in place, our counter cribbing, if you will, right? We've got a step chalk under the C post. We've got it blocked and wedged under the A and B. And just to reiterate, right, this is to create that pivot point as we lift on the other side and prevent this vehicle from sliding away from us. All right, so we're going to go back over to the other side and show you the alternative lift point for the rollover extremity pin. All right, so we're getting set to lift from our uh, alternative contact point, right? We see this area here where the B post and the door come together is kind of high up off the ground, right? We don't want to lift with the spreader and the TL9 directly from the ground because we don't want to max the tool out as we make contact. So to get a little more out of the tool, get a little more lift, we're just going to build a basic platform here, a couple 4x4s and a plywood pad that we can rest the TL9 on close up some of that void, and then come in with the tips here to our lifting point and per perform this lift, all right? So the guys are gonna come in with their lifting equipment and they're gonna get set to, to capture our progress as we go and we're gonna perform this extrication. All right, so we've achieved significant height. We got the roof rail up. Our cribbing is set, and we're able to come in. As you can see, that limb is freed out from under the roof rail. So again, we've, we've facilitated that extrication in a matter of seconds using this setup here.